Yeah. Um, well, I'm on the next bit now, so what I've done so far, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, got gearbox in, um, all in. Uh, select the drum, select the forks, uh, lace shaft and force shaft, all secured up. Um, I've now installed the crank, um, rear rod, front rod, and I have now got the balance shaft in, which spins nicely. Um, next part is other side of the engine case. So what I'll be doing on this part is I'll be putting the bearings in for the water pump. Um, I've already got the oil pump in, the oil feed pipe and the oil pump. Um, two new rubber O-rings. I do need to use a bit of Loctite on the bolts. And um, that's about it. Once um, the bearings are in for the water pump, um, then the two halves can be married together. Okay, so what we got so far is we've got this split pin. Put in new one and the next bit is these little oil jets which go there and one on the other side and I'll get back as soon as they're in and move on to the next bit right now them little needle jets are done um, over to this side put the first bearing in Goes on the opposite side. Second, oil seal. Third, roller bearing. So it goes in that way round. And I'll get them done now and come back in a minute. Right, so what we've got here is we've got the engine half put together, which everything seems to be okay with it. This half, I've got the sealed bearing in that side and the roll bear on that side with the oil seal in between uh, oil lines hooked up oil pump and they're uh, ready to put the sides together okay so as we're putting the two halves together and um, all we need to do is need some of this stuff which is silicon gasket high temperature and um, come in handy for when the engine gets hot as well and um, it won't just give way and um, gotta go literally round all the way around the case and then we can put the two halves together so I'll crack on and come back once that's done so yeah, now we've got both casings married together. Um, I'm assuming some of you may have noticed that I did have the crank in the wrong way round. Um, but yeah, I did come across that. Just getting a little bit too excited as this is my first build. Uh, well, not my first build, but my first build for YouTube. And then... Um, got a little bit too over excited there so yeah end up with the crank in the wrong way round uh, <laughs> but that was all sorted so yeah then um, getting there with it um, next bit I'll be working on will be um, the water pump um, sprocket in there and then um, get that done and then um, yeah um, seems to be coming along okay and that gasket sealant that I used for the joining the two halves together it's a black sealant which obviously hides in so when that comes off and um, once it's dried properly um, you won't notice it and um, good thing about that um, with it being black as well um, so yeah, on to the next bit. Okay, next bit. And mechanical seal into there. 27mm socket over the top. 
and gently tap it in. Here we go. And there we go, one mechanical seal in. Nice and flush all the way around. Okay, first thing, water pump bar. Rubber o-ring on the end. Set clip. Um, gear will go on there. Followed by, oops, little set clip. And slot nicely. Oops, problem about working this on my own. Um, slot nicely. In. And. I shall come back to that once I've got it in a minute. Right, so now we've got the water pump shaft in. Um, got a sprocket with the chain on. There we go. Uh, next bit coming up soon. Next we have this rod with two set clips, a couple of holes in, and little pins going to them holes, and they then sit nicely in the gears. So, next thing, got to put the bar in, pin, sprocket round chain, and um, go from there. So I'll come back in a minute. So, what from shaft and sprocket is in. And did you the sprocket now and then get the cover over that. And then that's bit done. Alright, for the next bit we've got the water pump chain tensionette. And that's We've got that hooked up for now. So, come back in a minute. So what I've done at the moment is I've put this on. Now I know this has got to come off. I haven't sort of like put it on permanently because the gear that goes on here, there's no way that's going to fit. It has to sit behind here. But with this on temporarily, that will hold all these gears into place, which connect up to the water pump. So I know that the water pump all the way down to here is fine. So all I have to do now is um once I get the cam chain on and the um mountain bracket for it and the tension of blades in, um I can whip this off, this bracket, um with the chain, put the gear on, but which is that gear followed by that gear which sits for the chain and um, that will then once they're on I can then just bolt this down permanently then um, but I'm just using that as a temporary hold and measure um, what pumps in I uh, just got to put the impeller on um, and um, ooh, I think that's about it uh, for now. Um, just put that in there, which is the reverse screw thread. So you wind it on the other way when the impeller's on uh, with a little bit of Loctite. And um, yeah, engines coming together um, fine. Um, so yeah, come back in a bit. Okay, so we've got this on here and the nut, but I haven't actually tilted it down yet. Uh, for a simple reason, um, come up today with all my tools and I didn't pack a 27mm long reach. So I can't do that. So I'll have to come back to that. Um, right, next bit. 
Um, I shall be putting the um, selector on to uh, with the little wheel on, um, which will hold the selector drum in place, stop it from rotating. Now that know all the gears are working fine, so I'll get on with that next. So these are the bits I'm going to be putting in now. Right now we have in place and got it so it's tight but not over tight so it will still rotate on the springs run it through the gears uh, goes from first then back up to neutral and then all the way up to five quite easily um, so yeah that's that done um, basically what I'll do is when I get holding the 27mm socket I'll get that torqued in um, then it will be um, the other part um, the output drive the shaft will go onto that with the spring um, oh, which is this bit here with the neutral and the speedo sensor and then what I'll do is I shall get the drive put into there with the spring and get the cross section put in here for the gear change mechanism and then that will be that ready to be bolted onto that so I'll come back with further updates cool stay tuned okay so we got this done and uh, we've got the needle blower in and snap ring in so that is all sorted next I'm doing the front cam chain tensioner blades uh, that's number one and number two and that will just sort of like sit inside yeah that's the way around so I'll crack on with these and we'll be back in a minute okay now we've got the first cam chain blade in tensioner blade Um second will be the one that sits in that little groove there which goes up to the front and then we'll plug on from there. Yeah, so it's all coming along good now. I uh, got the tensioner in and um, obviously that's all working fine. Um gear gear selectors are in Roller, roller pin for the drum and um, so working perfect and um, shift through the gears quite well now neutral so yeah um, right once we've done the side uh, the tension and um, cam chain chain guides a uh, sprocket and then time that up to the balance shaft and then um, yeah we'll be back shortly So as I've got this sprocket on now, and take this part here, and I've got one of the um, cush drives, well cush plastic pieces, a bit like cush drive on the back wheel. Got one in here, face down. So in which order they go in, and 
place that onto the where are we? Um, onto the balance shaft. Once that's on, one with a hole in. Then another one which is blank. Followed by another one with a hole. Followed by a blank. Followed by one with a hole. Yeah. Um, followed by one with a blank. And followed by one with a hole. Um, yeah, one of the lads just come in to make a flag, so <laughs> um, plod on. Um, this part, which is the actual balance weight, line on the crank sprocket, um, line on the sprocket. In turn, marry them two up together. Which is roughly round about there. So now what I've got to do is I've got to turn the shaft so that will sit in there. So be with me a minute and I'll be back. Okay, so here's where I'm up to so far. Um, managed to get the crank gear on um, and got these two lines marked up from the crank gear and the balance shaft um, cam chain front is in and a little metal plate what just sits under here and that's been bolted in that's about as far as I have managed to do ok I know it's been uh, off screen but um, I'm sort of like trying the best um, so yeah, so that's basically it really up to now, um, bottom metal plate in, held in by two bolts, um, chain on, gear on, and next is this, which is alternator plate, um, so I'll be putting that on now, and I shall be back in a minute. So there we go, so that's what we end up with. All tightened up, and uh, perfectly symmetrical. Yeah. So next thing to do is alternator stator or on. I uh, get that bolted up, and then um, go from there. Be back in a sec. And there you go. Um, there you go. That's what we got up to now. See the stators in, and then yeah, everything's looking good. Well, everyone calls it the stator, I still call it an alternator, same thing. Um, so yeah, okay, now we've got the rotor on. Yeah, it's a big ass rotor. Um, this little collar to go on. Which not only has to inline with the grooves, but sitting the ratchet mechanism as well. Um, and then it's just a case of Big, hang on, better get some lock tight on that. But big long bolt goes in, tuck it all down, and um, yeah, then that's all done and dusted. 
and yeah, go and find Loctite and crack on with that. Hi, uh, now once the rotor is being popped on with the alternator underneath, I got the main bolt torqued down. Um, engine side casing on. Um, got all stainless Allen bolts going round. Um, hopefully they won't wear as bad as normal bolts with them being stainless. Um, and yeah, starting to come along now. Uh, next part got to do um, is the outer cover. Um, got the uh, the alternator rotor uh, bolted in. Um, just got to bolt in the pickups. And before I can put that on, I've got to put the gear shifter on. Have this. Have the extended spindle into there and then the alternator cover can go on and be bolted up and hopefully that's it hi so yeah okay today i uh, got a new part going onto the engine as you can see we've got like all this done so far right today that Followed by this, which is the final output drive. Uh, that will be going on. Um, how this goes is, got your bell gear. Yep. Um, first of all, spring. Second of all, spline shaft. Yep. And yeah, everything turns nicely. So this will be going on. And making sure I've got dowel, dowel, uh, neutral. Um, yeah, the shifter is there. Um, so yeah, so hopefully um, I'll get this put on and uh, come back in a minute right now we've got the final drive on and uh, yeah it's turning good uh, a couple of odd bolts still to put in it yet and um, i'll get on to that in a minute and what i've also done is i've put the gear linkage in as well uh, just basically put in bolt down Connected it up to there, we'll screw it in first. Left the nuts loose either end so I can fine tune the gear shift mechanism. And um, yeah, that's what I'm up to up to now. So, all looking good. Um, come back to the next bit in a minute. Okay, so now we've got the piston out the sonic bath and as you can see it's come out brilliant. Um yeah, a little bit of well it's not bad the crown, I uh, got it as best as I could. Uh where I am with the engine at the moment is um got the last thing I was doing was the back head and barrels with the piston. Uh, front one I'll be doing today and with the engine everything's all in place and I think the only problem I have got is I lost the video of actually putting the clutch together it's one thing I'll have to have a look for but bog standard clutch uh, washer spacer clutch housing basket inside um the plates as you know the um the thingy plate and the steel plate another thingy plate and then the steel plate and so on and so forth special 
um, spacer what goes on over which the clutch basket sits onto and it's just basically building up the clutch um, after that a uh, cap goes on a uh, nut torque down spring washes in well the plate washes uh, the plate springs top goes on mushroom inside with the bearing and slides around on the bearing and um, when the clutch rods pushed obviously that lifts out lifts this part here out clutch plate separate uh, so next thing I'll be doing is I'll be putting this shiny piece on and once that's on and um, that's it I shall then go ahead with the front piston and the barrels and so on first job got to do wash it on here gasket side panel on bolt up so get on with that and come back in a minute okay so no more washer yeah on there like so and I'm not too sure if you have mentioned it but I have gone ahead and put the starter motor on which start motor went in two bolts and I've also put on oil filter chrome um, now the washer's on I'll get the gasket sorted for the side case and get that on be back in a minute ok got the side case now as you can see it's starting to look a hell of a lot better now the only problem is two of the bolts the other one there and uh, I think there's uh, two more, yeah, one down there, and I think there's one around the back side of the clutch as well. Don't actually fit now. Purchasing a bolt as a complete set, and um, you know, supposed to be for the BN1500 complete set of uh, frame and engine bolts in stainless and <laughs> yeah right uh, 35 quid down the toilet so in the meantime I've had to do with the outstanding allen bolts which are them type and a mixture of them type which they more or less like more flatter not ideal I know but it'll do for now it's got the engine cover on it's bolted down I'm only about three maybe four bolts short okay not ideal but one of them things <sighs> right so for the next job I'm gonna get the front piston taken care of and the front barrel on so yep yeah, there was my piston gone here we are one front piston um, rings, gudgeon or well, wrist pin, um, ready to go in. Once that's done, <coughs> I'll come back once the pistons popped onto the con rod, and then I'll come back again once the barrels on. Um, so I'll be back in a minute. 